we're converting our old Morgan sailboat from internal chain plates to external chain plates. Now I've already crossed the Atlantic twice with this old system that does not look in the best of condition. And we're switching to bronze external chain plates, which will be even stronger and just absolutely bulletproof. Now, in order to do that, the top sides have to be a whole lot stronger. So today I'm going to be glassing a whole bunch. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. All right, so I got all the chain plates out of the way. They're no longer up here. We have literally everything stripped out. There's no plumbing, there's no wiring. It's just a nice big open area that way we can do our work. So the first things we're gonna do, we have to cut this little backing plate off. So one of the chain plates is gonna run right down this way, which means it needs its backing plate. It needs all its supports in this area. And I don't wanna have part of it be on the beefed up tall and another part be on an unknown block of wood. So that's the plan. Now, when we're all done, I wanna take these chain plates and x-ray them because I'm also a dentist, so I have access to x-ray equipment. So it'd be really cool to x-ray these chain plates and check for cracks because that's, that's the ideal way to do it. It's just, who has an x-ray machine? I do. One of the chain plates is going to go here, the other one's going to go over here, and lastly, the forward lower goes here. Easy. Now, I need access to these guys after all the glasses on it. And I don't want to risk getting resin or a little tiny strand that's laying on it, but something. And then I can't get to it, and then I can't, <laughs> then I can't work it. So I'm going to put uh, little solo cups, and I'm going to glue them on, and uh, that should that should preserve everything so then afterwards it's just a matter of remove the cup or remove the opening at the cup we can put the stuff in now to hold them in place i'm going to use this kit it's cyanoacrylate the thing i like it's got thick medium and thin so since i'm doing uh, a solo cup to woven roving i'm going to be using the thick and then to speed up the bond that way i can get working it's got the accelerator so you just spray that on and the cyanoacrylate just sets up right away yeah so the thick medium and thin is just a matter of how runny is it and then also how big of a gap are you sealing so being how this is a pretty good size gap I'm just gonna use the thick one and we just use the accelerator and it's set The next step that we're gonna do is putting on the fiberglass, sort of. But before we put the actual first layer of glass on, we're gonna put a thickened layer of polyester resin over everything. So we're gonna add some filler to it. That way, any of these little voids that I think are okay are gonna be sealed. So then it'll be a nice wet surface that we can put our first layer of chop strand mat on and then start building up from there. The important thing is we're gonna work quick. We have to get all these layers on pronto. That way it can cure as one single solid piece. That way it's as strong as possible. No hubiera pensado que yo me iba a enamorar jamás. No quería saber nada más, nunca más. Okay, now that we have all the fillets put in and everything smoothed over, now we're going to start putting chop strand mat on. No te preocupes, 
Lo que siento yo por vos es cada vez más fuerte. Yo pensaba que esto del amor ya se me había pasado y que no era para mí nunca más. Pero el amor llega así, de esa manera, cuando uno menos se lo espera. Se abrió la puerta y sin pensar, dejas entrar el amor. No te preocupes, que yo siempre de quererte, de amarte y admirarte, ay amor. Oh, oh, oh. No te preocupes, lo que siento yo por vos. Es cada vez más fuerte Ahora todo tiene sentido Esto es lo mejor que he vivido Por si no lo has comprendido Me quedo contigo Ay amor No te preocupes Que yo siempre he de quererte de amarte y admirarte, ay amor, oh, oh, oh. no te preocupes, lo que siento yo por vos es cada vez más fuerte. Okay, we got a bunch of layers of glass on us. So now we've really bulked it up. It's a lot thicker, a lot stronger, and now it just needs to cure. And then we can get bolting it on. Now, this looks awesome, but it's half of it because this is only the starboard side. We have to do all of this in a closet on the port side next. So I'm gonna do this side get it done, get the boat kind of cleaned back up a bit before I take put the, the closet. Like one project at a time, that way the boat is still nice inside and not just a full on work zone. Lots of work. I worked for eight hours today. I'm very tired, hungry, and sore. Here we are, I shoved the chain plates back in just for, for leak prevention. One more leak reduction. And I got the heater just blasting hot at it help get it to go curing and speed up the process because it's really cold right now. Later, probably tomorrow, I'll come back and I'll paint uh, the finishing resin on. So all of this was done with laminating resin, which won't thoroughly cure. It lets you keep building it up. And then when you're done, then you put the finishing resin on and then it finishes, which is great. But I'm exhausted and I'm kind of done. So on that note, I'm not going to finish it right now. I'll come back. I'll paint the finishing resin on tomorrow. And then it'll be cured. And then we'll be done with all of that. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.